Yo, what's good? What's good? It's your boy Zocardier. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure you're excited. And there's a lot of reasons to be excited. Cyberpunk dropped a very, and from what we've seen, there's going to be another one. There's going to be a fourth one. They've dropped their third episode, and this was pretty detailing. Um, pretty sweet, pretty nice, because we were able to actually see just a little bit more of what the world of cyberpunk is gonna be like and off rip i'm not gonna lie i immediately thought of when i was young and i saw grand theft auto vice city um the commercial when you saw the club scene and when you saw you know vance lance uh you know pull up with the all white convertible with the white suit i mean but it's pretty much Grand Theft Auto meets Blade Runner. And they fuse together to make this what you're about to see right now. If you hadn't already seen it. I'm pretty sure you saw it though. But it's sick. Yo, look at this. And this is probably some of the trailer that you've already seen. But there's a lot of concepts to it that I love. First and foremost, I love the fact that they're representing Haitians in it. The Voodoo Boys, of course. Um but looking at it for sure this was really dope i love the whole concept that they did and this is a big step up in the gaming industry because you have to understand we're in the future of gaming right now we're talking about ps5 right we're talking about you know in-depth worlds in-depth cities when the ais you know when they respond differently it's not the same it's not going to be your normal sandbox games and then before we finish today this game the way they presented it i'm telling you right now day one i'm gonna be on it like white on right i'm not playing this this one's for sure is promising so let's get started it's time to take you on a tour and yo, it was so, city. it was so cool, like, like, yo, like, look, check this out. Oh my God, Juanita here. Today's news is Nova Max. Hi, Ben. New to Night City? It's not so bad, here. How we feeling today? Cause I feel amazing. I'm telling you, like, the whole... By the docks. Uh, our home, our pride. And as always, your business is my business. And this is your World News Update. Yo, I just got news. My boy got his job, so he's good. He in it. Yo, this game is this. Cyberpunk. 2077 I underestimated you my bad I really did I really underestimated I really underestimated it for sure yo like when my bro told me about it I was like ah eh, you know it's all right it looks cool it looks good because I immediately thought of Saints Row I immediately thought of Saints Row and I don't know why I just immediately thought of Saints Row, but looking at it, giving the time that I given on it, looking at how how Bro was really like amping it up, yo, this game it's definitely worth what it's what it's given. It's definitely worth the full value. Like it should be costing more, but you know, of course, we're not we're not in the realm of capitalism. This is we're all about good, good, good games. Forget the money; the money will come, as Fortnite showed. But anyways, um, this here, this is beautiful. This is what I've always envisioned on when I when I troll game devs and you know, and just games about. Yo, we need different. Just from how they explain the level, the level design, the senior level design, I will explore the game. I will explore it. I'm definitely going to explore it. I'm definitely, you're going to see me just making 
videos of just roaming around and seeing those little nits and those little ticks that they did put in there yo this is awesome you gotta respect it you have to come to be because yes it exists in the world of in the age of gaming right now you have to respect what this well project is going to be when it comes out the game is complete the game is done it's just a matter of us getting it and putting it in either your new gen your next gen or your current gen either or it's similar it's see this is where grand theft auto kind of kind of messed up with rockstar when they dropped grand theft auto because remember it didn't come out on the next gen already we had to kind of wait it was on current gen but i'm telling you I'm not playing this on no console. I'm getting it straight on PC. I'm installing it. I'm playing it on Ultra, on the highest whatever quality, and I'm just going to run it, and y'all going to let me know how y'all feeling about it. But this game is, yo, mad respects. I underestimated it. I'm not going to lie. I definitely did. Um, I did not expect it to be... I just didn't expect it to be what it was going to be. Um, but it's here. Uh, it's here. And, you know, shout out to the game devs. Yo, shout out to the fans who, who never stop. It's... I really believe that this game is amped to where it is because you all never stopped believing in it regardless and you challenged and you threw your ideas and I really do believe that this is the quality this is basically what it is characterized using the more grand theme of the larger district this process I think has resulted in a city that is feels quite alive has a lot of character where each district feels like its own distinct zone without and feeling that's really what it is yo there's so much life there's a lot of life in this game and it's really hard to from coming from where i come from with with just playing games you get really good solid games you get really good solid games but a lot of times they're lacking life right it's just that it's just one solid dimension. Look, I got the best example for it. You have Pac-Man, you have Sonic, right? You have certain games where it's just, you know, you get what the objective is, you know what you're getting into, cool. Then you have your Fallout, right? You have your, um, your most recent from Rockstars, you have your Red Dead, right? Where there's, not just this one tunnel you can go through there's multiple tunnels but they all lead to the same end objective maybe maybe not depending on multiple ending games right but what i'm trying to say is this game delivers it's so deep it's detailed what i what i mean by that is when you're roaming through the map right in first person view you're going to encounter a lot of different scenarios depending on where you're at in the map. Now, whether if you're walking through an alleyway and there's a gang member just waiting for you to, to you know, to, 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 to prey on you, or you could just be seeing some NPCs just chilling, doing their thing. I'm not going to lie. I can't wait to roam with the Voodoo Boys because I know, I know it's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. Network hacking and all is going to be mad dope with them. But I'm really intrigued by the level of gangs that we have. I thought it was going to probably be like a good three main gangs, but turns out there's a lot more. You know, you had the Hispanics that they showed. I loved it. It was beautiful, yo. Um... Look, I'm telling you, is Grand Theft Auto and Blade Runner infused together? Yo, this is like, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain. Make a point of that. It is a living, like we've breathing been city. Hit with so much so news time, back to back. It's really hard to explain you make how to go life. through with it, or how to digest it, if I would say, right? 
from me just as an all-around person from the Apple event, uh, kind of not all that, whatever, to Microsoft's event, to PS5 event, to this, man, it's overwhelming at this point in the moment. You're just so ecstatic because, yo, in a, yo, in two months, we're going to be playing this. We're going to be playing these games. November 19th, this one drops. We're going to be playing dope games. And for the majority of us, until all of us are able to get it, we're going to be on next gen. Remember all those pictures that they used to show about what it would look like? No, this is it right here. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. And this is coming out soon. Remember, we were supposed to already be playing this this game. This was supposed to have already been out. But they thought different. And this is where we're at now. Um, and and just when they were explaining detail, it. But the philosophy like, that we this. have with these kind of things is that, you know, many, many small things contribute to the sum of it, which is hopefully then you being able to explore a city that you feel is truly alive and uh, that you haven't been experiencing before. Uh, I just well, Miles, feel like the thank volume you so much of for the it. world is going to be worth exploring. Like, see, I love playing games, but I really love playing games. What I mean by that is I like to see the different types of reactions that you get when you go through these different tunnels, when you go through these different alleyways and you see the, you know... Lack of a better term, you see the, you know, the escorts, you know, you see the biker gangs over here, right? You see the voodoo boys over here, right? You see the Hispanics over there. You see the Asians here, the, 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 the wet market, you know, I, I just feel like we're gonna, you know, what we're about Survive. to experience. But that's how things stand. Is You're either far. somebody. You feel loud into nothing. Then Z ain't a city that lets you get by without buddies. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Oftentimes, from which what gangs the city's biggest and baddest, like according this, to the NCPD? Scabs hold the body count title. Or Maelstrom, depending on the season. One time, a Maelstrom gang killed a young kid right in front of my eyes for shits and giggles. Sucking psychos. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? I'm gonna introduce you to our This is gonna be one of those things. About time we had some fun! Big Maelstrom never forget! You're gonna pay for the download of content. Just a gang like any other, right? Take the Valentinos. Because it's only they follow God and the Santa Madre. Right? Honor means something to me. Right there. Check it. We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible book club. I gotta give style points to the Valentinos. They have a punishment for every occasion. Gangster life, puto! Quick shout out to everyone in Haywood in Santo Domingo. Lately, the Valentinos and 6th Street have had a bigger bone to pick. 6th Street, why'd they want to wipe you? I don't know, can't fucking stand Tinos? I've dealt with 6th Street before. We do the run, they'll transfer the cred. Come on, let's go before 6th Street shows up. Shot, shot, shot! Any more Second Amendment fans in the house, huh? Uh, hate those bastards. Vomit lofty patriotic bullshit all day. Time to bring on the future. Any idea how many attacks from behind the black wall we neutralized? If the voodoo boys breach the black wall, we'll all be fucked. Voodoo boys? Urban myth, I thought. Just net runners spooking each other. No such gang. You know, I heard a few things about you. The voodoo boys, best runners in town. You do not steal from the voodoo boys. I see you always. For them, Pacifica's just Haiti 2.0, their own island, cut off from the rest of the city. This is our turf, our home. Until last week, the animals crawled in. Animals are the craziest fucking gang in the city. Breaker stop! Animals aren't the play here, are they? They're hired muscle. Someone else needed them. I fuck you over. You fuck the gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the corp. See how this works now? My home.
husband's new weapon. Very high in the tiger claws. They did what made the best eddies. Sold sex and black market tin. See a lot of tigers. They run this place. Know what else they do well? Break the knees of people who ask questions. We gotta do something. Shut the fuck up. The tigers will kill us. Come on, baby. Yeah. Tiger yeah. claws killed one yeah. girl too many. So people took matters into their own hands. Folk went ballistic. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. Think you're some kind of gang group now, huh? Us moxes have each other's backs. We look out for one another. You looking for some company tonight? How'd you hook up with the mox? I thought Susie and the gang could really change something in this city. This one's gonna be nice. This game is gonna Tell me about be... the Badlands. Not much going on out here. No Au contraire. This is an ecosystem. Nomads, Raft and Shiv, corporations, and drifters, they form a complete whole. Remove one part, the delicate balance topples. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Classic dilemma. What comes first, family or the outside world? This family will go to hell and back. Everyone in this city lives in their own bubble. And either you fly high oh, or sink great. into quicksand. Mateusz, thank you so much for joining us. I have personally... And that's just what I'm talking about. This is exactly... This is... Okay. I don't want to overcredit because of the seriousness of gamers and I and and trust me I understand but I try to put myself in a position to understand both sides you have to know that video games at some point got very boring really boring until a few good people started realizing hey you know what streaming it is a beautiful aspect cool so we got into streaming but for a little second streaming started getting kind of boring too everybody else started putting in doing their little thing cool 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 nice a place for everyone to go ahead and create and share beautiful but we started losing the aspect of gaming with these new console wars even they for one point and moment lost the concept of pure gaming right they started wanting to be your full home media center whatever entertainment no that's why these consoles now they're going back to the basics gaming project red good you guys did awesome but i'm telling you this right now please if you do decide to drop multiplayer on this on this beautiful, beautiful piece of software that you're gonna be selling to us in November, let it be worth it. Let it be worth it. Because you still have those gamers who are, yeah, they like multiplayer, but it's nothing like, there's nothing, there is nothing like a single player game that would just have you remembering it for years and years and years. If you do drop a multiplayer aspect to it, Please let it be worth it. Let it have meaning. Let it have very, very deep meaning. Because nowadays, you get these single-player games, and then if, and even if, I don't even know if it's possible, if they would do it, if they do drop multiplayer, it has to make sense. It's only right. These games are deep, but if it's as deep, and as detailed as they have advertised it, and please, whenever you can, go watch the video. Go watch it in full 4K, please. You, you deserve to. If it's as detailed as they say that it is, then I can only imagine. out on you, imagine. and they bring in this element of chaos into the game, which I really enjoy, the personally. The, the, oh, Matty, thank you like so much for joining us. It's always interesting to learn in this what... Game. Think about it. It'll be vicious. It'll be nice. It'll be really dope. Look, I'm a game head. I'm not going to lie. I love a very good game, just as anybody. But I'm very strict 
about qualities of gaming because I feel like for a little second we were giving game developers and these companies an easy way out and just throwing our money away. But no, you take your time, you come out with these games, it becomes vicious. Look, I have that same exact computer model and to have seen that how they edited and this is just a side thing that they did which was pretty dope how they did a little cyberpunk um custom mod it was beautiful i'll i mean you can definitely go go ahead and check it out for sure but anywho game developers take note because what project and them did nice custom from the soundtrack you will know you're playing cyberpunk I can't wait. And they're coming out with another episode. So it's probably going to be the last one. Maybe a lot of people thought this was going to be the last one, which would have made sense. But being that November is so long away and nowadays anything can happen from stocks going up and down to a, to a riot to anything. It's such a sensitive culture right now that time is of the essence and it really just seems like hey you know what you guys are riding the wave so hard for us to leave you empty-handed from now until a drop date it's crazy it's not even fair so i'm pretty sure this is gonna be um this is gonna be exactly what we expected it to be uh but this game is exactly what I would refer to when I say a step up and here are the specs the PC specs from what they were demanding of is not all that crazy at all um, but I think to get the full benefit of this game you have to come to next gen or at least at least slides of PC gaming I'm just saying, but all in all, hey, you already know, it's your boy Zocardier. Cyberpunk 2077 is looking to fulfill its promise to all gamers such as yourself. And that is a beautiful world in depth with a lot of time put into it and a lot of hard work and a great team. Shout out to them. Um, shout out to you all. Hey, let's keep it going. It's your boy Zocardier, and I'm out. Yeet.